you may recognize this guy. This is Harleywood 23. We have done a couple videos with him. We did the MK9. Mm -hmm. And uh, last time we were here and it was awesome. We had a blast, so we decided to do another one. And today we're gonna be talking about the official Q Honey Badger and the Noveski Ghetto Blaster. Now, these guns are very similar, and we just want to talk about the differences between them and probably send some rounds down range with them. And I'm gonna let you drive, dude. So I'm super excited to shoot these, but I don't know much about them. This is literally the first time I've held either one. So this is your show, I'm here for the ride. Dude. Right, I got gotcha. you. So um, let's go ahead and talk about the differences in them then. So a lot of people don't know the difference and almost think they're the same gun and that Noveski is just the, this is just the Noveski version of the Honey Badger. Okay. Um, most notably is this brace system. This brace system is what sets these pistols apart from a lot of other pistols on the market. Um, and just ask the ATF, right? Yeah, exactly. This is the <laughs> ATF's favorite brace. Um, so the cool thing about these is they're instantly recognizable because of these rails that are actually machined into the upper and lower receiver. These will not work on any standard AR. You can't buy these and throw them on any AR. They're actually built for this incredibly low profile like there's no way that's going to catch on anything no. it's not going to it's not a snag point no and in the the very very cool thing about them is um the whenever you uh pull them out get my sling out of the way that's your um, wife's sling right <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> so this is um a really short buffer tube so what they did was they they kind of got done did away with the inside the buffer retainer and all that and the spring and the weight actually slides into the back of the BCG. Now that is not too uncommon now with the uh, SCW braces from, mm -hmm. you know, Maxim and, and all those. But when this first came out, that was- Nobody was doing nobody it. Nobody was doing it. Yep. Um, so it still looks better in my opinion than the SCW braces. Um, the difference between the Ghetto Blaster and the Honey Badger on those is that actually has a mid position. So you're actually in the mid position right now and it goes out even really? a little bit more. Yes. Ah. Yeah. And so that one, what's the difference there? This is two there? position. Just a two position. Now, a lot of people have already kind of knocked that as a kind of um, drawback to the Honey Badger, that it does not have that mid position. And I've even seen people take their Ghetto Blaster braces and throw it on here. So you could literally it. take this out and it would- it, You can, yes. Okay. Um, however, the long position of this is no, it, it's perfect for me. I don't have any, any need for that middle position. Maybe people that shoot differently, different sizes of people may need that middle position. I don't. So I'm actually gonna take this mag out. But um, so uh, one thing that we, we kind of talked about before too is that the, a, a complaint of these is the cheek weld. Again, I don't have a problem with it, but some people that do kind of want to hang back away from the charging handle, away from the sights that it, it kind of can be uncomfortable. I shoot, I shoot close up. I get right up there and it's-, it's Nose no on the charging too. handle is what they say, right? Nose like. on the charging handle. So that's just the stock of this thing. Um, we can move on up. The, um, uh, this comes with Noveski's charging handle and the Honey Badger comes with the uh, Radiant Raptor. Uh, and it's the H, it actually says Radiant Raptor HB Honey Badger and it's got the Q logo. Um, a benefit actually to the uh, Ghetto Blaster is the iron sights. So this actually comes with the Magpul Inbus Pros Ooh. iron sights. The Honey Badger does not come with iron sights. Um, so that's kind of a, a uh, benefit to the Noveski Ghetto Blaster. Now, the riser on this is actually so high that the backup sights look Don't. right <laughs> through the bottom of the, of the riser. Right. Um, so what riser is that? Is it? Uh, it's the Geisley Super Precision. Okay, mm -hmm. Geisley Super Precision. So yeah, so Ghetto Blaster comes with iron sights. Honey Badger does not come with iron sights. Um, this may just be a weight savings thing or just- Cost. Cost. Um, the next thing, so actually while we're on weight, this thing weighs with, without, of course I've got mod lights and everything like that, is 4.8 pounds. 
Wow. It's incredibly light. It feels incredibly fast. Whenever you're just manipulating the weapon, it just, it, it feels like it's almost an extension of my arm rather than me holding something. So even with the trash pan on the end, you're still under six pounds? Correct, correct. And then um, now, if, of course, if you're using your ATF scorecard, properly so that can be a couple properly, points. I don't even know what yeah, properly yeah, means on the that. scorecard. And then um, this weighs a little bit more and you can kind of see where those weight savings came into play when designing these. For instance the underside of the Q rail does not have the, um, Picatinny. the Picatinny rail and this does. You've also got about an inch extra length on that barrel. Than Sometimes that's this. all you need. Sometimes all you need is that extra <laughs> inch. Um, one thing I really like about the Noveski uh, Ghetto Blaster is those takedown pins are machined with the logos. If you're buying a Noveski, you mm. should have Noveski logos on everything. Right. <laughs> the Honey Badger and the Ghetto Blaster come with the same trigger, which is the Geisley SD. However, Q did just release their own proprietary trigger. Um, actually, no, it's not proprietary. You'll be able to drop this in your AR. Mm. So cool. they're actually selling their own trigger set separately, which I'm super stoked to, to try that out um the next thing i would say How about is, the grip this is a magpul yes that looks like these are both magpul but this is the moe k and okay. that should be the k2 all right so you can swap these out if you want but the honey badger comes with the moe k which is a little thinner profile mm -hmm. this kind of fills your hand up a little bit more and it's got the waterproof storage underneath um, the safety selects are almost the same except Q uses a 70 degree throw and the Honey Badger uses a 45 degree throw. Hmm. So this only goes 70. Um, I read from Q that they did this because the tension, it's supposed to be safer at 70 degrees than at 45 degrees. Interesting, okay. So uh, I've never tested that, but that's what they say. So kind of yep. have to trust Q on I'm this I'm also one. seeing there's an ambi bolt release on this one and yes. that one does not. This one does not have an ambidextrous bolt release. That one does. It's just machined right into the side there. Super intuitive, very, very crisp feeling. I love it. Okay, cool. Yep. And then both of these, now this is where we're probably gonna get roasted. Both of these come with the Cherry Bomb Comp. This one has <laughs> a dead air for a host. This is used as a host for a dead air. I'm out, dude, you lost me. <laughs> so you've got the dead air muzzle brake on there. Normally it does come with the Cherry Bomb. You can attach Q's awesome line of suppressors this is the trash panda and uh they have the nelson the full nelson mm -hmm. they have all those and they just direct thread there's you can almost what i'll say i've shot with the chair i have it on almost all my rifles including my hunting rifle okay um it's a great sacrificial first baffle okay right? <laughs> if you shoot without it though you <laughs> it's gonna ring your bell it's, really yeah it's okay. super loud um you know, there, there is a lot of flash and percussion, but again, it was designed to be a suppressor host, you know, for the most part. Right. I don't know many guys that run without it. It's not, it most right. people don't buy it unless you have something that marries up to right. it. Right, exactly. So don't stand don't stand to east or west of it, I'll tell you that. Yep. And you could almost do a whole video just on these, just on these. The way they do the tapers, the way it actually fits in with their suppressors is really cool. Um, I really, really like it. Yeah, it's so, an incredible host, man. It's, it, it's fantastic. It is. I'm really excited about it. This comes with the adjustable Q's proprietary adjustable gas block system, and Noveski uses their gas block system. So the gas blocks are a little different. They're both adjustable. Um, they, they come, both of them come pretty dialed in already, ready to go. Um, so that about covers it for all the differences. Uh, so they, it, it just depends on what you need it for. You know, if you want something a little shorter, or if you want something a little longer and heavier, either way. What about price? What's the price difference on these? Price on these is about the exact same. Okay. So again, a benefit to the Ghetto Blaster is for the same price, you do get that mid um, position on the stock and you also get the iron, iron sights. sights. And those, those iron sights are $200 iron sights pretty easily. Um, it sounds like I'm giving a lot more credit to the Ghetto Blaster than the Honey Badger, but that weight difference is unreal. And this just... Well, it, it's got the panda on It's there, got the panda and everything They on almost it, feel but. the same even with the panda on there. Mm -hmm. And they both have lights and all, yeah. and all that stuff on there too. I'm just a fan of how this just molds to me. And I feel like when other people shoot it that are different sizes, they say the same thing. So it's somehow they, they've managed to create this short platform 300 blackout that just fits everybody. Um, so 
that's a that's really about it. Uh, I'm ready to shoot these things. Let's do it, man. All right. So we've got the Honey Badger by Q here with the Q Trash Panda, a match made in heaven. And we're gonna shoot some subsonic ammo through it just to see what it sounds like. So here we go. That thing is dead quiet. If you own a Honey Badger, you should also own a Trash Panda because that is amazing. <laughs> 